is thrall. And there's just that one guy that's like, Jades are fun. What about Ralph? <laughs> I want to utilize patches for trading purposes. I don't want his weapon to be able to kill my patches and generate value. So I'm going to develop the Spirit Claw. And he's not going to coin ooze. Oh, there's this greetings about it. Scared me. Let's see. We're not going to draw patches. We're going to play with fire a little bit. But it's okay. Minion that sets up the best trades. Poke in there to set up the patches to be able to trade it. If we were really good, we'd just roll spell power and win the game. trades into, we just poke off with the Spirit Claw, we're ahead. You're not gonna like these Feral Spirits. We could high roll a totem though. We have 50-50 on the totem roll. Let's see. How does the overload work out? Then we could Jade Lightning next turn on his 4 drop. So if we win the 50-50, we could... No, this is gonna be a 1-2. Hmm... I don't, I wanna, I wanna play Ion 6, right? So if I Feral Spirits, the next turn I can't Jade Lightning, so if I can't Jade Lightning, then I have to Totem Golem, and if I Totem Golem, I'm overloaded on 6. So we should Totem Totem Golem. Then we can Jade Lightning into Aya. Uh, damn, low rolled it. We also had a 50-50 to high roll. Got the worst possible Totem. Kinda lucky. Right, like, Spell Power there, then we can trade the Buccaneer, preserve the weapon, and then if we get, um... Then we Jade Lightning and trade in our weapon to kill Flame Rate Faces. We could also play around Maelstrom Portal. Like, in every scenario, that's the worst possible weapon. Or, first was worst possible I totem. I like getting the Jade Lightning out now because it buffs our Aya. Like, trading his Flame Tongue Totem. Lightning Bolt. All that sort of stuff. His Jade Lightning. It's an attrition battle, and we have Aya. <laughs> Wish I had that Jade Lightning back. Maybe we were too aggressive with it. We do get good trades still, so it's fine to get the claws to clean. Not a second Maelstrom portal. Oh, okay. We're just gonna kill us instead. I didn't see that one coming. Executed all in by your opponent. There's people in Twitch chat memeing about how that guy. I trade because if he's able to Hazard Drake Maelstrom and whatnot with the spell power. And because I have lethal regardless of if I trade or not, so might as well trade because it probably plays around something. Yeah, the guy felt like he was getting outvalued on the board. Went all face. Went all in, had an X percent chance to win the game. I thought he played good. A lot of people would then, you know, instead of going all face there, just fight for the board and it's a losing battle on the board. And if they don't all in at that exact moment, then they have 0% chance to win the game sort of thing. 
That's where the skill comes in in aggro decks. In the mirror, identifying when you're supposed to all in or when you're supposed to continue fighting for the board. Decision points. This is the boss fight to rank up. We're up against Magic the Gathering Online Stark. Experienced card game veteran. And we're a casual, only cardstone player. We haven't evolved to play other card games yet. I don't know if I will. Big man or not big man? I'm a big man. Not a big man. Is it worth keeping? Answered by Mulch. We don't have early game to support it. I think it's better to hit it in stride since we don't have anything cards worth keeping. Flame Tongue with any pirates really strong. Druid has quite a few ways to remove it. So it's not at its best. Something you need later on against Druid though, so it's like pretty good to have. Jade Claws interacts with his Jade things pretty easily and allows us to have a weapon for pirate interaction. All of these are like things that we'd like, but aren't good enough standalone, I don't think. So I think we have to full mulligan. Okay, we got big man back. That's not that bad. Turn one. Interacts great. Mm -hmm. Most often he passes. He full cap. He could coin wild growth into something, or coin innervate something. Living roots. It's okay, we got the claws. Oh my. That would have been so sick. The counterplay. Living roots really hurts us. Slows us down a lot and lowers the bad minions. Makes us hang in mana. Flame tongue gets worse. It's all bad, man. Got outplayed. Top deck wild growth. What are the other three cards you kept? Didn't keep wild growth. Maybe he also kept wild growth. We want him to not play a minion. I want him to interact with this. So, he has a coin. Maybe looking to coin Ezra Drake or something like that. I want to shut that down, make him use removal so then we can play Big Man. Otherwise, if he plays a creature and I'm playing Big Man into a creature, Big Man turns into Little Man. It's not great. Now Big Man needs to come down uncontested. And that's just money. Raven Idol. He's about 9.6% chance to hit exactly Mulch. 32 Druid spells. I got the best deal anywhere. What's going on? Coin naturalize? Are you a wizard? Okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Not good. We gotta kill that, right? Like, we can't just leave that up. This sets up beautifully to develop the other big man. The big boys, if you will. One swipe's gone, one living roots is gone. Two living roots is gone. One swipe's gone. If he's swiping, he's not developing anything, then we get a slam down to Aya. Yeah, okay. Slow down the big boys so that we don't have to trade. I don't think I would trade either way. I think I'd just play the guy and then go face. Doesn't set up lethal though. It does set up lethal. We have the lightning then. Hmm. That's close. I should have thought about that more. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is better or not. He's got second swipe. It's in his mitts. He top decked it. No, it's mulch. Okay. Good thing we didn't go a second big man play. That played into mulch hard. Fire rage. He's trying to heal out. I a small time and a big time Torin. Hopefully he doesn't play my future. Okay. It's one of the kept cards. He kept wild growth and then played the one he top decked rather than the one he kept. He tried to trigger me. Around, but probably plays around something. We could still lose this game. Uh oh. Oh, there you go. Alright. Cool. Not 
do that. Not a bit dirty. I got silenced, but still alive. And he played a lot of more spells than I thought he did. I cool. Yogg's a card people play again.